Now we're going to do a time slip simulator analysis on a throttle stop run that's a huge difference in mile an hour. We we'll use the search menu, search by opponent's information. The opponent number at the time was 4655. There's the run we had. I was 890 with an 8 at 171 miles an hour. I go to the opponent screen. He was 888 with a 7 at 217.70 miles an hour. That's a 46.52 mile an hour difference. Let's see what it looks like in Time Slip Simulator after the run. So you click Time Slip Simulator. I'll go to the lane difference. TV mode. I'll look at as if I was the uh, opponent and hit play. That's a big difference in speed. As he blows by me at the finish line. Try judging that. Let's see what it looks like when we play it from my lane. Now I'm trying to judge him. Can't even see him. And you can see how that would look in finish line manager. It's very difficult to do. Very difficult to judge that kind of speed difference. Now in finish line manager, we pull it up and we'll change his numbers around so he would run an 890 so we'll just change because it won't matter in the early part of the run I won't be able to see him anyway so we'll put 786 with a 9 slow him down two hundredths 8.908 and he'd be 217.5 miles an hour probably and let's watch it in finish line manager and see how many feet apart he should be in and see if we can help ourselves prepare for this race. I click Time Slip Simulator, watch opponent. Here's from our opponent's view. And let's watch. Actually, let's look down on this race and try it again. This is what it looks like on top. Look at the closing speed. It's amazing.